going on today guys Royce here and today we're coming at you guys with that crazy backcountry vlog that I've been talking about my buddy and I are gonna go up in the backcountry go shred some of that good snow that we've been getting recently down here you know as you guys can see it's starting to dwindle away a little bit but that's not too much of a biggie because up top it stayed perfect nice and powdery nice and fluffy and it's super super deep so today we have a few things on the agenda I want to try out a few different things out on the backcountry the dude who I'm going out with is a super avid backcountry rider he knows what he's doing he knows how to do a bunch of maneuvers that I don't and I would love for him to teach me a couple things so I'd like to learn either how to do a hop over how to do a re-entry or how to do a 180 turnaround where I'm just doing a wheelie and I can turn back down the mountain it's a maneuver that I've tried here and there but I haven't really gotten that perfect hill so I'm hoping today that we can try and I'm gonna have the proper trainer with me today he's gonna be showing me the rope showing me what to do but without further ado let's get this bad puppy loaded up on the truck it's already started ready to go and uh, we'll get out there so let's hit it Hey guys, as always, first pull now. <laughs> so today we are riding from my buddy's cabin and as you guys can see, I mean, there is some snow out here. We got three, three foot snow banks on each side of the road. I mean, it is deep out here, so I'm super excited. And to top it all off, looky, looky there guys, we got some bluebird trying to peer out. Oh, today's gonna be good. Check this out, guys, for unloading here. Didn't even have to pull the ramp all the way out. Had the snow bank help us out, and we'll be on our way. All right, guys, we got the John Don on the vlog now. What, what's going on today, John Don? Just feeling up the rigs. Check this out. John Don's got a full fuel station here. You pull up to his house, you get fuel for free. It's awesome. Yeah. It's the perk of uh, parking at the old Donovan compound. Okay, don't forget to put the fuel tank. <laughs> Remember when we did that? <laughs> one, one time, funny story for you guys, fuel cap, uh, forgot to put it on. I don't even know how far we made it until I realized that. It was that a ways. It was, yeah, it was, it was a ways. <laughs> it was a decent ride. But anyways, rode without it for probably a few miles at least. And Didn't we come home and it was here? I'm pretty sure we came home and it was on the ground like somewhere around here. <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> The GoPro footage hasn't justified it, guys. We're we're trying to go up. What what would you even call this, John? Literally a shortcut from one point of the trail to another. We're not even at the top. It, so we're we're not at the top. And first and foremost, it is incredibly deep out here. Nobody has even touched this entire zone, which is sick. The problem with the zone is is it's very treed in. There's not a whole lot of options for air, and I have gotten stuck. I think three, maybe four times already. We haven't even made it to where we want to go. And John, John, I think that was this your first stuck so far here. Yep. First stuck, and uh, well, as you can see, it didn't quite go to plan. <laughs> yeah, and you know it happened, and I was just I couldn't understand how, you know, I let myself do this. But then I figured out my ice scratchers have been down. Dude, since that happened to me the last time. So that's it. The ice scratchers. They, every, ice scratchers did it. Every time, guys, don't forget put your ice scratchers up. Anyways, we're gonna get this thing out of here and. Uh, Try to make it where we want to go. Well, here goes nothing, John Don. <laughs> Well, 
Don Don uh, started there, went back down, came around, up, hit this vertical wall right here, hopped over, came down, came up, and oh, hey, trail parking. saw it on the GoPro there. We had to go do this again. I mean, this is a pole right here. Holy smokes. Wheelie and uh, Trench City. We'll give it a rip. There's so many eggs on this hill. It's a beautiful day out here. Do you guys think he's going to make it? I don't know. Let's see. Here we go. She was yeah. along for the ride. <laughs> All right, guys. So we we're, we're taking a little break here. We're taking we're more like a thought break. Not really for John Don because what 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 did you just say that you're going to do? Well, I'll be attending the Big Iron Shootout of 2021. Guys, uh, I don't think camera does this shoot justice. I mean, it is a pull. I, probably this is this is like a Whistler pull. Yeah, this is a pretty big pull. That's a big pull. Let's see if the old. Uh, Kitty Cat 155 can pull it. Don't want this to be your last. Yeah. My mom's sled came down this hill by itself once. All right, guys. Comment below right now. Is John Don making it all the way to the top? Like, what do you think? Are you making it to the top? I don't know, but you guys better support me now. <laughs> comment below right now. Pause the video. Comment below. Is he making it? <laughs> I don't know. Here he goes. Full pin, John Don. No way. There is absolutely no way. Oh, he gave it a run though, guys. That was, that was two thirds, if not, I, I'd say it's more than two thirds up there. It gets steeped. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> that was a pull. Round two. Round two. <laughs> Let's see if he has this one, guys. That thing is wide. Yeah! Come on. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh! Yeah! John Dunn! <laughs> Holy smokes! Guys, that may or may have not been the gnarliest pull that I think I have ever witnessed. And the video, look, he's, he's dropping down right now. I mean, he is 
up there. If you guys haven't given him a follow, he obviously just slays it in the powder, slays it in the snow. Go follow him down below. Link will be in the description. I mean, <laughs> how? How is that even possible? What? John Don, initial afterthoughts. That, on, that's a pull, yeah, dude. That was, uh, that was probably one of the <laughs> longest and steepest pulls I've pulled on this. Thing. I just said to the camera, I think that's the gnarliest pull I think I've ever seen. <laughs> I was just like S turning. Yeah, dude, around. you got it though. I mean, no pro. Holy smokes! Yeah. <laughs> right well, on. Altitude changes on that. Oh, dude, at least fifteen hundred feet. Yeah, it has that to be. A... That's a pull. <laughs> Alright guys, gonna give uh, Elijah a little rundown on how to put the skis in the air and tip this thing backwards. Hey, we, that was the whole plan today was to get you to uh, teach me a couple things here and I think we decided just to try that 180 up and then turn it back on down and hopefully me stay on the sled the entire time. That's the whole plan. That's the plan. So there's the object at the camera, you can't really see it but there's a little knoll there. So I want you to come in right about like this, hold their full pen, yeah. kind of go into it slow, but as soon as you start going up it, hold it full pen, just look over your uh, your right shoulder and let the sled do the magic. Right on, well I'm just not gonna do a whole lot of thinking, I'm just gonna go ahead and just send it. <laughs> Look at that, that move's useful. He just pulled it right there. Yeah, John Dunn! Dude, you're slick Rick out in the hills today. Guys, we are back at the house. Look at the hair. Holy smokes, that thing is, just, that's just not right. It, it was a long day. Back is hurting. John's neck's hurting. We're all hurting. We're all sore. We're going to the chiropractor. Yeah. We've got a couple appointments scheduled. We, uh, we made those plans on the hills, so. Like, not even <laughs> kidding. I actually have one scheduled. <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you guys did. We got the sled already loaded up. We are taking off. And uh, what, what do you think they should comment? Comment some challenges, snowmobile video challenges? Yeah, give us some ideas and 
tell us what you want us to do on the sleds or if you want us to take side by sides out or yep, go got... hit the lake in the middle of the winter let us know what you want us to do yeah, we could do some water crossing Dude, we could, we what could. if we got a dedicated snowmobile to water cross or something we have we have a sled that may or may not be willing to get water crossed i mean the sled doesn't have a choice but but that's only if you guys want us to we're not going to so, do it until you tell us exactly so comment below comment some challenges we are always open to ideas and uh well this has been royce and john don like i said before give them a follow and uh Peace out.